제 142회 잘나가다니요 안녕하세요. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host Lisa Kelly and welcome once again. All right, let me introduce you to our teacher. Hi. Hi. I'm going to help you guys out in a little bit. My name is Stephen Revere. 안녕하세요. And today we're going to talk about Lisa. The last episode, Lisa was talking about introducing me to a young lady. And today I'm going to ask her a little bit uh, more about her. I want some more precise, detailed information, as you'll see in the dialogue. And we've got two students who we'd like to know more about as well. 안녕하세요, Naomi입니다. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. 안녕하세요, 저 네팔 유학생 감빌입니다. Oh, very good. 유학생. Uh, 유학생. That's a good word to know. 유학생. Mm -hmm. right? A student studying abroad, abroad. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 유학생. Well, let's go on and find out what we're going to be studying today in our situation. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. 어떤 사람인지 자세히 얘기해 봐요. 음, 지금 광고 회사에 다니는데 잘 나가는 사람이에요. 잘 나가다니요? 무슨 말이에요? 능력이 있어서 잘 된다는 뜻이에요. 캬. <웃음> Okay, last time we were talking about how I was going to introduce a very uh, good-looking person to Steve here, and today we're following through with that dialogue. And I don't know if you understood what we were saying, but we're talking about someone who has everything going for them, talented, good-looking. I'll oh, stop describing myself. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> all right, we call this sort of <laughs> we call this sort of person uh, a particular name here in Korea. And uh, Steve's got some uh, stuff there in front of him to help you along. In the woman's case, it's the pinka. Okay, it's that queen card, mm. but we don't pronounce it like that, right? Well, yeah, it comes from, exactly. originally what Derived happened was in the that. 60s and 70s, cards were very popular, okay? Mm -hmm. People were playing a lot of uh, the Western style cards, and the, uh, in the meetings, people would talk about the queen and the king, and they would talk about them in this way. They would say the kinka and the kinka. So, a beautiful, good looking. So, we've got our, here we go, right here. Yeah, there's I mean, a kinka, right there. and there's a kinka. Okay. There you go. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's go into our dialogue. Okay, first line is Stephen says he's really curious. He wants to know what kind of person is it? Tell me about them. 어떤 사람인지 자세히 얘기해봐. 자세히 means in detail. Stephen. Mm. This ending, inji, is added on to a noun, right? With the noun, you have to put the inji, okay? So only when it's a noun, though. When it's a verb, you use this, this g in other ways. But here, it's a noun. 자세히 means in detail, okay? 자세히, right? 자세한. Originally, this comes from 자세하다, right? But here, they're turning it into an adjective. Tell me in detail, okay? 자세히 얘기해봐. Actually, it would be an adverb, wouldn't it? Right. <laughs> Don't right, put anything up on the website. I know it's an adverb, okay? 자세히 얘기해봐. Let's try repeating that. 어떤 사람인지 자세히 얘기해봐. 어떤 사람인지 자세히 얘기해봐. Very nice. 어떤 사람인지 자세히 얘기해봐. And how else could we use this inji? What else could you ask about? You could ask about, about a school. How would you how would you ask about a school? What kind of school is it? 어떤 학교인지 얘기해봐. 음, 음, 어떤 학교인지 얘기해봐, right? 아, yeah. Or how about a business? What's a business? 아, 어떤 사업인지. Okay. Oh, 아, yeah. uh -huh. 어떤 사업인지 얘기해봐. Oh. Very good. Nice. And then so she's gonna respond. She says, mm, she's thinking. 지금 right now 광고 회사에 광고 회사 is like a PR company or a commercial company. Mm -hmm. 광고 회사에 다 다니는데 she's going or she's attending or she works there. 잘 나가는 사람이에요. Mm -hmm. Okay, 잘 나가다. Okay, 나가다 means go out, but not in this situation. It just means that you are someone who's going places. Okay, you're not someone who's just working like an average person. You're making lots of money. You're working your way up in a company. Okay, and we're taking that apart. And you got 광고 is an advertisement, right? 회사 is a company, so advertising company. Yep. And then 다니는데, this is one of the most common conjunctions in Korean, right? Every time they want to stick two sentences together that uh, don't have a, a specific relationship, sometimes you just stick 는데 in, in the middle there. 
and 잘 나가는 사람이에요. And this is rather uh, uh, someone who's a mover and shaker, someone who's really accomplishing a lot of things. They say they go out well, right? Right. 잘 나가는 사람이에요. And so apparently Stephen doesn't understand what you mean. What do you mean by someone who's a mover and a shaker? Like, mm -hmm. what do you mean exactly? So he asks, please reiterate, okay? 잘 나가다니요? Okay, what do you mean? 무슨 말이에요? Okay, please tell me more. Sure. This 다니 ending, okay, the polite form adding on the yo. We've had something similar to this. What is going on here? You're surprised, okay? You're surprised yeah. at what was just said. Or in this case, you don't quite understand what was just said. It's one of those two things. Or it could be very doubtful. You don't believe or trust what was just yeah. said. So in this case, you say, oh, 잘 나가다니요. What are you talking about? In, th in this case, I don't understand what she's saying. So I say, and those of you who are just starting Korean, practice this one. 무슨 말이에요? Okay, so Lisa explains, okay, what I mean by 잘 나가다 is, okay, 능력이 있어서 잘... 된다는 뜻이에요. Ah, so that's what she means. Okay, she has lots of talent, so she has lots of capabilities. Mm -hmm. So let's practice that sentence ending, though, before we move on too okay. far. Let's say somebody tells you Korean is really difficult. Oh, 한국말이 어려워요. But you don't think so. <laughs> it is, I know. I know. Let's, just, let's just pretend for a minute. Okay. What, what, what would you say? 한국말이 어려워요. Mm. Okay, I think they got it. Yes, very good. And I think it's time for us to get a little insight into Korea. Mm -hmm. okay. Korean insight. All right, a useful expression to know here in that situation, we're introducing this lovely girl to Stephen who's got everything going for her. Not only is she beautiful, but she's got a lot of capabilities talent. and talent, mm. right? She's got lots of things going for her. It's just the icing on the cake, okay? In this situation, we call it 금상첨화. Mm -hmm. oh, it's too Korean. difficult for us. Chinese characters are very difficult, but they can also be very useful. And I prepared wow. something to help you out here today. Oh. Look at this. Look, we had the word nungyok today, didn't we? That yok there, that is him yok. Him means strength, okay? Uh -huh. As they had, they, isn't that, yeah, look at that, that. That's me. No, just kidding. That's not me. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've got the muscle bound guy showing the strength there, right? Well, look over here. We've got nungyok, which means ability or talent, right? So once you know what that yok means, the original, then you can also learn about yoki, which also now <laughs> one thing you want to notice is that v at the beginning gets dropped from the beginning. If it's in the beginning of a word in Korean, that just gets dropped. So that's why it says yok, but it's the same Chinese character, okay? So what's going on here? You've got the same meanings. This means weights, okay? Yoki duda, you're lifting up weights, okay? Okay, we want to remember the two main grammar points or the two patterns that you should have in mind as we finish today, which was the inji and the tanyo. Mm -hmm, yeah, we had what otan saram inji, what kind of person he or she is, right? And then we had attached on to the verb chal nagadani yo tani. Okay, you only attach verbs to dani. Okay, so chal nagadani. What does that mean? Chal nagadani yo. And here you go. You get to watch it all again in our flash animation. 어떤 사람인지 자세히 얘기해 봐요. 음, 지금 광고 회사에 다니는데 잘 나가는 사람이에요. 잘 나가다니요? 무슨 말이에요? 능력이 있어서 잘 된다는 뜻이에요. 캬. If that's all for today, we'll hope you uh, join us again next time for another edition of Let's Speak Korean. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. I did it on TV.com. Yeah.